Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Helen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much happens. I have an idea here, I want to see what you guys think. Helen Grabner has visited China and remembered an exotic face full of bicycles, martial artists, and delicious dim sum. And a sum of delicious uh, dim martial artists. Okay. Right, let's get you a new everyday outfit, because I want to keep that one. When you finally finish loading, if you would be so very kind. There we go. Right. Okay. Ertniver. Ertniver. Uh, come on, where are you? Right. Indiana Grabner, how's that for you guys? Right. Need some sunglasses. Sunglasses to go with that. Let's, yeah, let's have a quick look through the accessories. Earrings are a bit pointless. She could wear Tallulah's lucky uh, lucky tiara. No, I don't think so. Somehow. Watch. And let's give you a nice big bracelet to go with that as well. Oh, wrong arm. Anything for the other arm? No, it appears that Sims only wear things on one arm. Okay, that's good. Put the watch back on. I like the watch. Thanks, Mega Racer 25. Much appreciated. All right, there we go. Some hats. I know you can do it with hair, but I don't want to do it with hair. I just want to do hats. But no, apparently can't do hats. Okay, right. So there we go. Indiana Grabner. Yeah. Can you just imagine that? Oh yes, Williams. That's all I need. Right, and let's get ourselves out into the great wide open and learn ourselves some martial arts. I think it's that one. Yep. Is it the Martial Arts Academy? Oh, yeah, after doing that costume, I forgot to dress her in it. That was clever of me. Let's get her there and then we'll... Uh, We'll change her. God, I wish I could cycle that fast. Yeah, I was, uh, it was taking a bit of time loading. I hit the, the uh, new outfit button too often. Never mind, I'll delete it later on. It doesn't really matter. But while you're running up there, change outfit. Every day too, I think you want. Right. That's it. Stand there tapping your feet. Why not? Well, that's the whole point. 
This is this is the beginning of a complex cycle of revenge against those people that stole her underwear. And when they find out that the first Tallulah was involved, she's in so much trouble. Okay, my dear. Practice. Practice, practice, practice. Did make it perfect. Take a few of those. I get the feeling that might end up as uh, um, the intro to this particular block of uh, Sims 3 games. Speed that up a little bit. Just nothing looks more amusing than that. That's stating win. Basically, we don't really want to watch too much of this. Come on then, Ellen the ninja. Let's see you in your ninja outfit. Hmm. Not bad. Somehow I see her dressed all in black, but hey, why not? And you practice for a little bit and then we'll take you and we can do some of the adventures. Okay. Actually, looking at her, she's starting to get a bit stinky. So, if we head home, and shower it up, she can cook a meal, which is good because she has absolutely no cooking skill whatsoever. Oh, new belt. <laughs> yes, it, it does really, doesn't it? It's not, I think we're lucky at this point they're not touching her knees. That sounds like a good idea. At least three of the people you passed on the road passed out. Oh, right. Train with the board breaker. Okay. Right, you need to eat. And by you need to do eat, I'm actually kind of hoping that somebody else has cooked something because you have no cooking skill whatsoever. So, have a quick meal. Eat some canned soup. Which of the uh, 47,000 um, World Adventure bugs was that uh, you're talking about, Chrissy Top? Right, okay, what should we do with you? I think we're actually going to... There's a, an opportunity we can do here. Which is... Oh, I see. You've got to introduce someone at home. Never mind. Play some chess. There we go. Well, I hope that's because you're tired, not because I'm boring. If you think I'm boring, say so. I'm like yawning all the way through this live stream. Right, off to bed with you. Mm. 
I lost the Sims family once when they um, the adults went away on that the holiday. The one that then you have teens, and I can't remember what the teenager did, but it was something that call needed the uh, the adult to intervene. So the adult came back and lost all the items out of her inventory. And seeing as she had just about everything in the house in her inventory at that time, that was utterly, utterly devastating. One televisions have been turned off. Yeah, that's always that's never a good thing. Gets you up. Let's give you some breakfast. Have a quick meal. Cereal. And then I think it's off to the bookstore with you. And then we shall do some more martial arts. Find a rock. You can make it a pet. My goodness, you're a brave girl walking around an area like that. But I'm telling you, I have somebody's eye out. Uh, I think one of the problems with only having one sim at any one time is... Uh, um. You've got nothing else really to focus your intensity on, so if they're doing something boring, you've got nothing else to look. But uh, let's go. Let's go and do something that I know Ellen will find really interesting. Let's go and visit the markets. Uh, something to think about is. Uh, yeah, it was once taught. It was once uh, I was once told that uh, yeah, schools, universities, and things like that are, are just institutions that are supposed to soak up knowledge. You know, you, you you go to university thinking you know everything. You leave university realizing just how little you actually know. That, that knowledge has got to go somewhere. <laughs> oh, buy a book. And do you know which book you want to buy? No, I didn't say go upstairs. I said buy a book. Buy items. <laughs> Find me a shrubbery. <laughs> well, I'd like a book. It's got, you know, like pages in and, and stuff and it's... It's hard on the outside. One of those. How much money have we got? Six hundred and twenty-three. Now I don't think I'll be buying any of the uh, the recipes this time, unfortunately. But we'll get them another day. And um, yeah, it's just actually. Have you got anything on you to sell? No. Buy items. Right, so everybody likes the, uh, everyone likes the martial art outfits on Ellen, do they? I wonder why that's the case. Okay, where can we get her to change? Uh, nowhere here. Okay, well, when you have the, when the opportunity arrives, we'll get her to change, okay? So, what we will do is, uh, is oh, I think I know what we'll do. Let's go back here and let's pick up an adventure because what's the point of coming out here without doing an adventure? It is called World Adventures after all. Of course Ellen study, study, study. <laughs> what do they change their name to? On. I want to see somebody write this down. What do they change the name to? Chris should be able to do it. 
I wonder if anyone else can. I promise you I'll read out the more interesting ones. What on earth is she doing? Oh, there you are. Right. Check for adventures. I am searching for an intrepid adventurer who can retrieve an ancient relic for me. I've searched all over town and no one has the guts. Please contact me, Hu Young Kim, if you are interested in. Hmm. Korean name, interesting. Alright. Come on then. <laughs> well, okay, university, it's worth pointing out. When I went to university, I ran out of money. I ran out of money actually quite early. And I, I don't think I'd have been able to survive as long as I did if uh, the local fish and chip shop hadn't um, given me a line of credit. So, uh, yes, I owe that guy quite a lot. Not money, because I did pay him back, but uh, he kept me in university right up to the point where I dropped out. Not that I recommend that to anyone. Why are you talking to me? Can't you see I'm busy staring at this letterbox? Thank goodness that someone has responded. Come on, there's work to do. I've heard of rumours that a nearby tomb holds valuable treasure. Retrieve it for me and you'll be handsomely rewarded. You'll need this key to get into the tomb. What are you waiting for? Go to it! Right, enter the halls of the Lost Army. Which, if I remember, is down here. Halls of the Lost Army. Okay, in you go. Oh, actually, Ellen's going to love this. If I remember, this one's got a library in it. Yes, it was very kind of him, I must admit, but uh, uh, I was utterly, utterly, utterly sick of fish and chips by the end of that year. Utterly sick. Somebody's broken something somewhere on the map. You can tell by the music. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, I must admit, when I was at university, I was uh, actually I actually became a very good cook at university because I didn't have that much money to uh, to uh, cook with, and I was you know utterly sick of fast food. So I started to learn to cook you know sort of decent stews and soups and things like that, and uh, I ended up cooking really really well. It's a skill that's uh, stuck with me to this day, which is a totally good thing because I totally forgot everything else I did at university. Right, what, uh, what do we need to do here? We need to jump on this first, don't we? No, there's not going to be something crazy in this temple. Oh, come on, then. Oh, don't do this to me. Right, it needed to pause for 10 minutes, presumably to load that music up. Cooking is great fun, I love cooking. Right, so, insert keystone. Oh, and read sign. You know, if that, if that thing was so heavy, how did she have it in her pocket all this time without exposing her uh, her lady bits to the world? 
elect. And that's actually probably going to pull it over one too many, but never mind. Here we go. Go to the door. And push. Oh, I don't see it. There, there being a problem with the concept of being a, a fan of racing and being a fan of The Sims and even being a fan of listening to me ravaging on all the time. So, you know, I do what sounds fun. It's, people shouldn't really be... Um, ten, uh, not tempeg, what am I thinking about? Uh, pigeonhole, that's the phrase. Quite ready. Ah, I see you're loading up the music again. Great. Right. Is that the only one? That okay, just push the thing. Because quite frankly, I'm getting sick and tired of waiting for one of you lights to uh, light up. Well, that actually did do the trick. was not expecting that. And clear the rubble. I tried once getting a sim married in uh, China one and that was the stupidest thing I ever did because that one completely wiped out yet another family. Uh, the whole world of interest thing is actually pretty terrible when it comes to that sort of thing. Yep. Yes, Ellen Grabner, martial artist extraordinaire. Pimpin. Okay, oh, no, that's nice. Well, that's paid for the trip. <laughs> oh, to be totally honest, I've done far stupider things, but uh, that's the only one I'm going to own up to in this live stream, at least. Let's put it that much. Well, actually, I think what I will do is sell that gem. There we go. Now that pay for a few more books. Oh. I think Minosha, you've probably covered many a man's stands to see there. Oh look, lunch. Go through door. Yes, and now you've covered many a more man's fantasies, in fact. Let's go the whole hog, shall we? Oh, if only she pinched her nose before diving in, that would have been perfect. Uh, swim through tunnel. Um. 
That's the alleged chest of allegedness.